Oh, this is gonna hurt you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst driving car I've ever driven. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So, so we bought a new car and like every new project, this thing needs some modification. So we went to our favorite website to buy car parts from, wish.com. Today we're gonna install it on the car and see if it's good enough to stay on the car. And if it's not, then <clears throat> to go straight in the trash. We're taking this car serious as heck. He's Zach, I'm James, and this is freaking Donut, baby. Yeah. Get some. Thanks to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. Sure, there's Flag Day and Valentine's Day, but for my money, the most underrated holiday is Jackery Day. It's Jackery's biggest and most important day of the year, and it's right around the corner on May 12th. And this Jackery Day will be celebrated with the unveiling of a brand new, incredibly powerful Jackery model. But you can also celebrate with the traditional Jackery Day festivities, like my favorite, powering an entire refrigerator with the Explorer 1000, Jackery's most popular powerhouse with the ability to supply 1000 watts from multiple ports like AC outlets, a DC carport, and USB charging ports. Then of course, there's the traditional Jackery Day feast, a rotisserie chicken, side of buttery mashed potatoes, and a Jackery so Solar generator 1500. This power behemoth has a massive 1800 running wattage capacity, powering 99% of your devices in the event of a power outage, winter storm, or just out camping. Take that, Dino Juice! So click that link in the description and make sure to put Jackery Day in your calendar on May 12th because Jackery is unleashing a new beast that's everything those generators are, plus even more features and more power, baby. Now it's time for the Jackery Day tradition of dancing to public domain music. Hit it! Hey. We've installed Wish.com parts on cars before. Zach, what are your expectations? Through the floor. Not very <laughs> low. Historically, they have not been very high quality, but maybe we will yeah. be surprised. May I would say if one of these things is good enough to stay on the car permanently, we're doing pretty good. All right, first Ooh. up, what, one of the first things you do you to your car, it. you lower it, slam it. wheels on it. So we have some DNA motoring, Coil VW 85 RD for 1985 to 1998 Golf slash Jetta Mark II four cylinder adjustable scaled suspension coilover Red Springs. Red Springs are obviously the best, and these ones are height adjustable. Warning, first thing, this product contains chemicals known to the state. <laughs> it doesn't tell you what state, it could be like, like the state as in like the government. All right, well let's see the actual parts. DNA, motoring, <laughs> they're heavy. Usually, you know, a uh, lowering spring set from like a reputable company will cost you 150, 200, 250, somewhere in that range. So, fraction of the price, 25%. <laughs> I mean, so far they really don't look that bad. I mean, they're metal. Yeah, they're metal. Uh, decent rubber bump stop. These collars are actually decent. The threads cut in them look okay. These are definitely not the worst coilovers yeah. that have been installed on a donut car. Definitely not. Let's put them on the car, take them for a quick drive and see how they ride. It's a couple days later, Justin has installed the coilovers on the Cabrio. I don't look any different, but hopefully the car does. Uh, let's see what these $60 coilovers look like. And then let's take it for a drive and see how they ride. It looks higher. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look higher? It's supposed to go lower. So, the back is lower. Okay, what happened in the front? So I gotta show you something. Oh yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, that's it's what got, you want. It's got actual spring to it. Uh -huh. Let's do the front. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so those springs are definitely four rear springs. The back work flawless. Yeah. The adjustable perches for those didn't fit around the strut on the front. Okay. So I had to reverse it. Okay. So I did spring first and then the perch on top to make the top adjustable. So it's just metal to metal contact right now. You guys, <laughs> you guys squatted a golf. Okay, so we are doing a test drive to oh, feel our new $60 coilovers. Oh, this is gonna hurt you guys. Yeah, take it at speed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst driving car I've ever driven. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So I'm legit getting motion sickness. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> I hate the ride, but I love this car. This is great. Oh, just died. Don't buy $60 coilovers off of Wish. They are not worth it. This is the worst driving car I've ever driven. 
and uh, I've driven low car. These will not be staying on the car, we'll be replacing them with proper coilovers and some very cool wheels. One thing that car enthusiasts love is a manual car. You can't go on the internet these days without hearing someone chirping about, save the manuals, yeah. save the manuals. So what do you do if you have an automatic car, but you wish it was manual? Well, luckily, Zach, I have a product for you. Introducing the Shifter Ninja, <laughs> cup holder shifter. They're available for Toyotas, Teslas, Subarus, Scions, Nissans, Mazdas, Kias, Jeeps, Hyundais, Hondas, Fords, Chevrolets, not VWs. It's yeah. almost like a fidget spinner. Yeah, so if like one of us is driving and then the passenger is sitting there, we can shift too. Yeah. This basically goes in your cup holder and makes it look like you have a gated shifter. Oh, and is that actually made for the size of the, like specific to the Tesla cup holder? Mm -hmm. Well, all right. I mean, I'm honestly surprised. $50? <laughs> yeah. It's custom, dude. Um, all right, let's look at this thing. <laughs> what? Oh, what? it's dinky. <laughs> it's 3D printed. Does it feel like a Audi R8? It's very short action. Dude, short throw. It feels like I'm gonna break it. Yeah, totally. It's not as like heavy duty as I want it. Yeah, I mean, it feels kind of like a shifter. Well, let's go throw it in the car, see how she feels. Yeah. So we've run into an issue. It does not fit in our cup holder. Oh, I hate it when my car parts don't <laughs> fit. What about if you... Squish it between your legs. <laughs> if I put it between you. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you know, anybody else driving by would think <laughs> that you're totally just shifting. Yeah. So this thing doesn't fit in our car, so we're not going to keep it in our car. But you can bet your butt you're going to see it on that desk every week. All right, next product. OK, so this is an 8M. Way better than 3M. <laughs> Way better than 3M. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. It's over twice as good as 3M. Roll rim blades, car vehicle, color wheel, rims, protectors, decor, strip, tire guard, line rubber molding, trim for car decoration accessories. Wheel rim protector. Mm -hmm. So and like if you're curbing it. Shelly says, it. four stars. Haven't tried it yet, but it looks like it will work just fine. Thanks. Is that a real person? It's like, you know what? I'm gonna write a review now. Yeah, I don't wanna wait until I actually know mm -hmm. what it's like. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the way. Yeah. Then I'll try the product and I'll be done. Just review based on my intuitions. Ooh, what color did you get us? Any guesses? I bet it's duty brown. Red. And it matches our springs. That's a good point. Because red is for racing. Mm -hmm. All, right, All right, well, let's go jam this on the wheels and then uh, hit the <laughs> curb. Hit him with a hammer. Okay, so it's not really sticking for the most part. <laughs> we run into this a lot with uh, Wish.com products. Yep. The adhesive on the back is rarely very good. That is amazing, dude. As they say, voila. That'll definitely stop some curb rash. <laughs> There's no way that's not gonna come right off. So we've installed the curb rash protectors on our wheels. Now it's time to see if they protect them. Keep coming, keep coming, you're good, you're good, let's go. Go ahead. How'd they do? Quite terribly. I can't, hold on. Oh, that's polished smooth. <laughs> so rough, like a rock. Needless to say, I don't think these are gonna stay on the car. Dude, if there's one thing that I think every car is missing, it's a skull exhaust. New metal head bone exhaust tip, motorcycle exhaust pipe, car accessory, 2.5 inch. You know, I always I always thought it was called a skull, but head bone really is <laughs> what it is. Let's see that head bone. New, new metal head bone. <laughs> Oh, oh, hell yeah. Way smaller than advertised. That does not have a whole lot of room for exhaust to come out. In the picture, the pipe comes out and then the skull is bigger. Gigantic. Yeah, this is like a weird looking wiener. Like, look at that guy. <laughs> and he's like sort of from the Neanderthal era. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at how many teeth he has. <laughs> this highly detailed head bone will make your ride look astonishing, exclamation point. This is a solid metal exhaust pipe which can be used as an ornament as well as a real use. Our exhaust head bone can be installed on the car exhaust pipe without an adapter and will not restrict airflow. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I bet it whistles. Like if I saw a normal person, I'm not scared of him. If right. I saw this man, I'd be terrified. Imagine that man with skin. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a ton of teeth. I know we have a lot of artistic uh, donut fans out there. Can one of you guys make this and tag me on Instagram? Yeah, recreate it. I want to see this guy with skin on him. 
All right, let's put it on the car. Yeah. I mean, I already know this thing's staying on there. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Headbone, and I want to get a license plate that says Headbone. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea here is that this just slips onto your exhaust, and then this this little hole they've got here uh, should be threaded so you can run a set screw in there, and then it can kind of clamp onto your exhaust. Keep it from rattling around too much. All right, you don't want to lose your head bone. Yeah, let's make sure it actually slips over. Okay, I, ooh, it's going to be close. Oh, heck. I don't think it's going to fit. Okay, well, we're rounding back out. Oh, there goes the welds. Would you say that this is a performance exhaust? I would say it's going to get slightly less good at the performance. <laughs> well, there's more than one ways to perform. That's true, and this, this is, is going to perform in the aesthetic sense. It's theatrically perform. Yeah. We'll That's just, great. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Looks good. It's on there. Should we start her up? Yeah, give us a whirl, dude. Oh, heck yeah, dude. He's spitting. Give us some revs. <laughs> oh, you can see him spitting smoke. <laughs> Does it look cool? It's great! This car doesn't even shoot like liquid out of the back of it. Uh, yeah, which is nice for me. Right <laughs> I can definitely hear a difference in the tone, for sure. Uh-huh, a little more whistly, a little more like it's coming out of a tiny hole. <laughs> yeah, which is what you're looking for in a performance yeah. exhaust. All right, so if we're being on. honest, the fit and finish is not quite there. They're close. It looks way different than the picture on the website. Didn't fit the car. That definitely keeps exhaust flow from Happening. doing what it needs <laughs> yeah. to do. But it looks badass. Sometimes that's all that matters, so it's staying on. Wow. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> that is a beautiful car. Naturally. There's no denying it. One thing it does lack a little bit of. Yeah. It's a little down on power. But what happens when you want to scream? A little bit more power, baby. Well, you get yourself forced induction. And Wish.com is a great place for that. Right here, we have a universal turbocharger AMR 500 fit for 0.8 to 2 liter AMR 500 mini supercharger blower booster. A bargain at $192. What was the twin turbo kit that you put on the 350Z? It was like six grand. Yeah, it was like six to eight thousand dollars. a rip off yeah. now that I think about it. Dude, we could have bought a lot of these. And it's universal. You can put them on anything. They called it a lot of different stuff there. Yeah, so many different stuff. Some of it is, is correct. It can't be a turbo and a super. The direction of rotation of the charger is the same as that of the... Look, we got an old one. It's heavy. It's made out of metal. That's a good sign. I mean, it, there's a supercharger going on in there. Part of me just wonders why the heck these get made. Like, it's like, it's made out of metal. There's really a supercharger in there. It's but a complicated thing to put yeah, together. For that I just can't really picture anybody actually using. Yeah, and they're selling it for 200 bucks. So the price point, it's not like you're earning any money on it. This right. is a pretty hard and thing like to make. And like it's a specific mount, specific belt. Like how do you, maybe if you're like modifying your lawnmower. But uh, let's just see if uh, you feel any air blow out. I think that's the way it's gonna go. I mean, it's definitely pushing air. I'd say that's like 60 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's sucking and she's pushing. Yeah. I mean, that th it, it's a supercharger. Technically, this could work, but how the heck do you install it on anything? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this isn't complete, and there's really no way for us to install it on the car now without a lot of, like, fabrication right. and stuff. But if you want to see a video of us figuring out how to put this thing on that thing, let us know in the comments, and if enough of you guys want to do it. it, we legally have to do it. That's the contract we signed. Yeah. Let's judge this thing without having used it, mm -hmm. as we do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's I'd a supercharger. Technically. It's made out of metal. Mm -hmm. It makes air go. Mm -hmm. It's only 200 bucks. Yeah, I mean, so it's like, it's not terrible. I just, I don't know what you'd actually use it on. All right, so this next product comes to us all the way from Etsy. Mm. Problem with most air fresheners, and we've tested a lot of them, is you don't get to pick what's on them. What if I don't like trees? Yeah. This is a custom air freshener. You can get any photo you like, which I think is a dangerous claim. One of the worst things about being inside the car is not being able to see the outside of the right. car. Right, and apparently that's a very popular option. This guy got the same thing. Better be a friggin' Cabriolet from 1997. If not, you're getting It might be torqued. even better. 
Whoa, it's Whoa. a lot. Oh. <laughs> oh, to commemorate. <laughs> it is our old D-list Jetta with Vin Diesel in it from Fast One. The buster brought me back. <laughs> so we're gonna pick one of these to go on the car. The rest of them we're gonna give away to Donut Underground members. That is our membership program. Get sweet BTS crap. Stuff that super limited supply things <laughs> like, like this. And access to our Discord. Click that join button to find out more about it. Clear your heart. Yeah, we're christening the new car with a little piece of the old car. Yep. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Man, now we can never forget those sweet fender vents. The, the carbon fiber canards. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's definitely staying. That's a great mod. Icar is officially back from the dead, so naturally we have brand new Boost Creep shirts to welcome it back. Boost Creeps can be scary, I know, but they're perfectly harmless, I promise. So go get your new Boost Creep shirts today at donutmedia.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut! Oh, if anyone has any experience with uh, superchargers like that, or if they know what it might have come off of, we're thinking maybe jet ski. If you do know, uh, let us know in the comments or if, yeah, any information, because we would like to put it on. I love you.